Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Friday, October 27th at 8.14 p.m. Mountain Time, you're looking at a website with the inventions and experiments of Nicholas Tesla, including an in, uh, description of the missing papers, which we're going to be discussing tonight because the papers have been released. I will leave you links to them in different sources, and we will be, we will be talking about what they say. So these Tesla papers were stolen from a U.S. citizen in 1943, and we can read about it. During the night of January 7th, 1943, Nikola Tesla died in his room at the Hotel New Yorker. The morning after the inventor's death, his nephew, Sava Kosanovic, hurried to his uncle's room at the Hotel New York. He was up-and-coming Yugoslav official with suspected connections to the Communist Party in his country. By the time he arrived, Tesla's body had already been removed, and Kosanovic is suspected that someone had already gone through his uncle's effects. Technical papers were missing, as well as a black notebook he knew Tesla kept, a notebook with several hundred pages, some of which were marked government. Well, several trunks of papers, records, and equipment were removed from his room by the Department of Justice Alien Property Custodian Office. According to the controversial president of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, they did not have any knowledge of the fact that the papers were photographed or that his men did such things. The controversy of the missing papers begins by the fact that Tesla was already a citizen of the USA, and for this reason, this is a division of the U.S. government that should not even have authority or jurisdiction over Tesla's estate. According to the FBI, the papers were carefully analyzed by John G. Trump, a radar scientist at MIT, along with several high-level naval intelligence officials. Trump declares that the papers do not contain any new information which would constitute a hazard in unfriendly hands, and the papers are deemed safe to be released. Trump includes an analysis of Tesla's particle beam papers in his report, concluding that the plans do not contain enough information to actually build a weapon, and that any workable conf configuration would be of, of very limited power. Anyway, today these papers are supposed to be in the Nikola Tesla mu Museum in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Now, this is the statement by the FBI. When Tesla died in New York in January 1943, his papers, which are thought to include plans for a particle beam weapon dubbed the Death Ray by the press, were temporarily seized by the Department of Justice Alien Property Custodian Office. Alien in this case means foreigner, although Tesla was a U.S. citizen. So he's another example of the U.S. government doing whatever the fuck it wants. Despite long-standing reports and rumors, the FBI was not involved in searching Tesla's effects, and it never had possession of his papers or any microfilm that may have been made of the papers. Since 1943, we have been told a consistent story to all who have asked. Reports to the contrary appear to be based on initial confusion of FBI agents with other government officials, i.e. black ops, i.e. shadow government. The Alien Property Office personnel, clearly... had the papers. Now, what the FBI released uh, was their investigation into Tesla and what he was doing. Now, what we're going to go through is a few of these documents because I have some information that suggests um, that people have access to Tesla's notebook. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you could spend hours looking through these files. But what I want to tell you is, in the beginning here, Is if something a few interesting things I noticed. One being this line here, where you can see things are not actually being shown. So there's missing information on these documents.
On Saturday afternoon, Gorosh and Fitzgerald of Alien Property Control went to the hotel and seized all the property of Tesla, consisting of about two truckloads of material, sealed all articles, and transferred them to, at that time, were also in this warehouse approximately 13 barrels and bundles belonging to Tesla, which had been there since about 1934. These have also been sealed and are now under orders of alien property custodian. In view of the fact Tesla is a U.S. natural citizen, alien property custodian feels that it is jurisdiction over the property is doubtful, but feels that no other agencies will be able to get this property for at least two days. So they were looking through it. After that time, it's possible that a public administrator will be appointed for the property who may take the property to his or her custody. Tesla also had some property alleged by the informant Fitzgerald in this case to be a working model of an invention in his safe deposit box in Governor Clinton Hotel in New York. Inquiry shows that this was placed here by Tesla in 1932 as a security for $400 owed hotel. This bill is still owed and the hotel appears unwilling to release this property to anyone, at least until the debt is paid. Hmm. But this office will be advised if anyone attempts to pay the bill and obtain the property. I wonder who paid the bill. Now. That the government was vitally interested in the effects of Tesla and requested Spanel to lose no time in doing all he could to preserve them. Blois Fitzgerald, an electrical engineer who had been quite close to Tesla during his lifetime, advised the New York office that on January 7, 1943, Sava and Kosanovich, George Clark, who was in charge of the museum and laboratory for RCA and Kenneth Sweezy of 163 Milton Street, Brooklyn, New York, went to Tesla's rooms in the New Yorker and with the assistance of a blank, Locksmith broke into a safe, which Tesla had in his room, which he kept his valuable papers, including important blank, electrical formula, designs, etc. What is this? Important, b, is that a B? This is documents. Or something with a Y and a D. Interesting. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stare at this longer, and maybe try to figure out what that is. Important. What's the word, folks? We're doing this together. Something that was so important they had to shrink it and black it out. Now, someone has this information. It was stolen. The FBI doesn't have it. If you come look through all these documents, these are just the documents that the FBI collected on Tesla's life and hit the monitoring of him, which they were doing illegally because he was a U.S. citizen. But someone stole the information. And what I want to get at real quick here, you can peruse these missing papers, but these are the most important things. They have the information. It got into the wrong hands. They're claiming that all of his effects are in Belgrade in a museum, but someone got the notebook. And in the notebook is the information that was needed for Texan Utilities to produce this paper and to present it at a conference last year, Surface Waves and the Crucial Propagation Experiment. This is coming from Brigadier General Corum, William Miller, Ph.D., and Corum, Ph.D., their brothers. On the Texas Symposium on Wireless and Microwave Circuits and Systems, IEEE, which follows Electric Universe and believes in it, Microwave Theory and Technique Society at Baylor. This was presented at Baylor 
where they have found the secret to wireless energy transfer. Now, I know you haven't heard of this because the mainstream would not pick up on this. But for over 100 years, scientists and industry leaders have searched for a way to safely transport electricity over long distances without the use of conventional wires or cabling. Texan Wireless Power trademark systems utilize a long theorized but never successfully demonstrated terrestrially electromagnetic phenomenon known as the Zenic surface wave. I'll leave you links to the paper. You tell me what you think and why you haven't heard of this and why we haven't been using this since they stole the information, which is now out and has been kept in secret for a while. I was introduced to this about six months ago. You can uh, invest in this company if you want. There are ways to contact them. I want you to look at this. The Tesla information is out in the public and it has already been developed. That's all I'm going to say. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. I'll leave you links to all the Tesla pages so you can spend all night watch, uh, going perusing all the receipts at all the restaurants you ever ate at. But this notebook was stolen, and it took about 60 years to perfect it. But it's been done already. And it's been presented at a scientific conference, and you haven't heard about it. Wireless energy transfer is happening. Be safe.